everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Sultan stitch, which is the design you see here in front of me. It is made up of double crochet stitches and chain stitches. It works very quickly. Uh, the pattern does have four steps to it, but they're easy to catch on to. So this is uh, a great pattern if you're looking for something maybe for a scarf or a shawl uh, or another accessory. It uh, is light and airy, yet has a, quite a bit st of stability to it. So today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations, as well as a six millimeter crochet hook. Thank you so much for joining me and while you're here I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Why don't we grab our hook and our yarn and let's get started. Our Sultan stitch today is worked in rows and the first thing that we're going to do is start by making our slip knot. You're then going to chain a foundation chain that has a multiple of four stitches plus one. So today I am going to chain 21 stitches. There's 10, 15, 20, and 21. Once you have your chain, your desired length, you're going to start by placing a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet in the sixth chain from your hook. So count in six chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, and into that sixth chain, work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. You're then going to skip the next three chains and in that next chain you're going to repeat double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip three chains in the next chain, work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. When you come to the final three stitches in your foundation chain, you're simply going to skip two and double crochet into that final chain. That brings you to the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain three and your chain three always counts as a double crochet stitch. You're going to turn your work you're then going to work four double crochet stitches into each chain two space. So in each chain two space, work four double crochet stitches all the way to the end of your row. One more chain two space here. Then when you come to your end starting chain three, you're going to work one double crochet stitch into the top of that chain three. And that brings you to the end of row two. For row three, you're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one, and you're going to turn your work. Next, in the space between the first two double crochet stitches, you're going to work one double crochet stitch. 
So this is my first double crochet. This is my second. So into that space in between, I'm going to work a double crochet. You're then going to skip the next four double crochets and in the next space, work your V stitch. Double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next four double crochet stitches into the next space, work a V stitch. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. When you come to your final four double crochets, you're going to work your final V stitch into that space in between your turning chain and your four double crochet stitches. Your V stitch this time is going to be a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Row four, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches into that first chain one space. Skip the next double two double crochet stitches, and then work four double crochets into the chain two space. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Work four double crochet stitches into each chain two space. When you come to your final chain one space, you're going to work three double crochet stitches into that final chain one space. And that brings you to the end of row four. For row five, you're going to chain three and turn your work. You're then going to skip the first three double crochet stitches and work a V stitch in between in that space, the next space. So your V stitch is your double crochet, chain two and double crochet. Skip the next four double crochet stitches, work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final uh, two double crochets and the turning chain, you're simply going to work one double crochet stitch in the space between your two double crochets and your turning chain. And that brings you to the end of row five. From here on out for the pattern, you are simply going to repeat rows two through to five. So alternating these clusters of double crochet stitches with your V stitches. You'll remember your row two was the chain three and then work four double crochet stitches in each chain two space across. So continue working that pattern for however long you would like your particular project to be. And that's all there is to working this Sultan stitch. Thank you so much for joining me and I'm